if you thought the WHO, the World Health Organization, was bad, you're about to see how really evil that organization is. I came across a quote that is really, really upsetting. And, and the reason I want to show it is I want people to hear who the organization that most of them have been supporting was founded and led by for many years. And I'm referring to the World Health Organization. Hmm. Its first leader is a guy named Brock Chisholm. And the World Health Organization is the organization that rolled out the COVID shots around the world that were untested, unproven, have now been proven not to have worked, and in many cases have caused serious side effects and even death. Um, I want they you to all read, ignore that. I want you to read this guy's quote. I verified it with three sources. I'll read it to you. That's a picture of him on the left. He was Canadian. To achieve world government, it is necessary to remove from the minds of men their individualism, loyalty to family traditions, national patriotism, and religious dogmas. Eliminate religion. Eliminate the family. Yep. and eliminate free thinking. And if we can do that at the WHO, we can have a one world government that we will lead. He was named Humanist of the Year worldwide in 1959. He was one of the most powerful men on planet Earth. Will, how scary is the organization that people revere for some reason, the WHO, which Trump defunded, which... Biden refunded, they want to control the world and they brag about it. Yeah, they brag about it. But when you go and talk about how they want to remove a great deal of the population, then that's all a conspiracy theory. You know, the WHO, they were defunded and they should have remained it that way. And that's part of the reason why they wanted to get President Trump out of the way, because he was pulling us out of all of this globalist one world order tyranny against the American people. Man, and it, this I know it comes, it makes me think about when President Trump went to the United Nations and was saying that we would no longer be we wouldn't know we would never ever become a socialist country. And Nancy Pelosi said, okay, we're gonna impeach him. Because this is exactly what they want. They don't you know think about it like this, Barry. Every single Democrat will get upset with you if you think for yourself. Right. Because if you don't go along with the collective, you don't go along with the Borg, you don't go along with the, the hive, they will they will try to excommunicate you from society if you think for yourself. And we already know how they feel about the family, because you have this organization called BLM, because Lucifer manipulates, convincing people that the father doesn't need to be in the household. And all they're doing is picking up the mantle where the Democrats left off and trying to push that more into the black community. And now they have this whole thing about, you know, what is the family, which is completely demonic. And then, of course, it comes down to religion, which we know how they feel about religion, right? They, they despise anybody who is a Christian, a Jewish. That's the main ones that they despise the most. Why? Because Christians and Jews believe in the God of Israel. They hate it to no end because that is the true living God. And that's the reason why they hate religion when it comes to that. Because all the other ones, they, they give the, all the rest of them a pass because, you know, they hate Christians and they hate Jewish people. So they give those a pass. But this is the world we live in, and it's not going to let up. It's not going to stop. They're going to continue down this path as long as people that are in high positions, Barry, don't say anything. See, you and I, we say something about this all the time. We talk about it all the time and we put it right out there for everyone on front street, for everybody to see the entire world. But the powers that be, they don't say anything. So they continue to do it because they feel empowered. They feel emboldened, the acceptable for them to do this. Well said, Will Johnson. I think we ought to put this up every week so people know who the who is.